Poochie Pies, do not fall for the okie doke. This is the okie doke right here, y'all. Jamal Wilson. We're in Dunwoody, uh, Georgia, which is part of Metro Atlanta, y'all. Now, this is a beautiful restaurant. And he had a vision, and he had his vision realized. Uh, he had a restaurant. Within that restaurant was six separate chefs with spaces. And you, as a customer, could order from any of them. But then this sign happened, y'all. Yep, he only lasted for six weeks before he closed it down. But the problem is he didn't tell employees like this one right here. He didn't tell them that they were closing down. They have been trying to get their money for the last couple of weeks. You know, Atlanta, everywhere, times is far and people living a paycheck to paycheck. They're facing eviction and some might already even be homeless. Even if they go get other the jobs and some have they are still behind on bills at this point okay now i'm not surprised that the vision failed because this uh chef right here said that jamal had came to her when he opened the restaurant and asked her to be a chef in one of the spaces but she had to pay forty thousand dollars and sixteen um thousand dollars a month Boy, bye. Now, this is a GoFundMe started by the employees because, hell, they need help, y'all. So please donate if you're able to. And if not, then please send up prayers and positive vibes that they'll be able to make it through. And Jamal, if you don't pay these people their money, uh, you need to find a way, Poochie Pie, because this is ridiculous. This makes no absolute sense. He was promising an elegant and exciting dining experience when he opened with great fanfare on May 26th in Dunwoody. Owner Jamal Wilson in this video on the city of Dunwoody's Facebook page unveiling his restaurant concept called The Hall on Ashford Lane. You have your own bartender, your own server. Wilson was offering nine separate restaurants, each with its own chef, all under one roof. Diners would be able to pick and choose dishes from any or all of the chef's creations and all of the selections on one menu. But one day, less than six weeks later, when employees came to work. We were met with a 4 by 12 paper that was on, a, on the door that said this business is closed until further notice. Jamaris Nesbitt says that was two weeks ago. And Wilson keeps promising to pay her and his other now former employees, more than 50 of them, their final paychecks. And promising and promising. So now we were all put out of a job and trying to figure out how we we're going to pay our rent. Um, lots of us are facing evictions. Some of us are facing homelessness. It's craziness because we were dependent on that said check to pay our bills. Teresa Acosta, who has her own catering business based in Dunwoody, says before Wilson opened, he asked her to sign on to be one of his chefs. And her dream of having her own restaurant would have come true. But she says the contract he offered her would have required her to spend 40 grand up front and then pay him rent of $16,000 a month. No wonder the concept failed, she says. What if she wonders? What if she had invested? If I had signed on you know, my life savings to something like that, I would have destroyed my family. As it is, she says her catering business has never been better. I'm very happy. But heartbroken, but finding out what's happened to the employees. The we are working to reach Jamal Wilson to find out if he's going to pay them what he owes them. Jamaris Nesbitt started an online fundraiser, hoping that can help the employees. She has a new job now, but burdened with her new debts that continue to grow, she says, because Jamal Wilson is not paying what he owes her. It's extremely stressful. In Dunwoody, John Shirick, 11 Alive News.